Alright guys, welcome back. I did the little cutscene so that you guys don't have to pay attention to it. By the way, just to save yourself a little time, unlock it because that makes your meter start from less than z from a little more than zero, so you know. Less waiting time. Let me just catch this thing. Boom. Run up these steps. I think I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I should make it. Yeah. There we go. We have a better shield now. I just follow this thing before it falls off because it's a it's an endless cycle. Just watch. Like right now, it falls off into the abyss, and that thing generates another stone. Uh oh, a hammer. This is actually a good weapon to have because you can see it has a twelve. Let me get rid of... Hmm. Well, you know what? I don't need the torch anymore. Because the torch, I would have needed it if I was going to, you know. So, I think there's this whole thing where basically you could shield surf to hop around this. You know, like you don't need to... Uh, like you definitely don't need to uh, do this. I think you can just basically make it from here to there if you use a bomb or something. But let me just... I kind of want to save the, the hammer. Considering that this thing doesn't matter. Boom. There. <laughs> That's all. And that was the oh so clever puzzle of the shrine. It's literally, this this recording is about to enter in its second minute, and I already finished the entire shrine. <laughs> there we go. But like, can I just get something off my chest? Because I, I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. Sp uh, before I start, I think right now, and we it might be nighttime when we head out here. So you might get a glimpse of the skeleton creatures. They only appear at night, and if, if it turns into morning when they're still out and, like, fighting you, they actually die with the sunlight. Yeah. These things, you hit the body, then you hit the head. You know, so. There we go. <laughs> Something cool about them is that their hands actually become weapons. I do not recommend them at all because they are, like, the worst weapon in the game. This guy has a traveler spear. This spear is injured. I don't need it anymore. I'd rather use this uh, older, like just wooden spear. All right, so you saw this boulder before. Just as a quick tip. And unlock it, it launches. There's a, a treasure right underneath. There we go, another bow and arrow. Uh, well, another bow. So, from here, I believe we can go straight to the next shrine, like I promised. So, now about that thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Dokkan Battle. Alright, back in high school, I got a friend of mine introduced me to this uh, app, which is Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Uh, and it was actually pretty cool. It was, it's a card collecting game for uh, Dragon Ball characters and well that's the thing it, it spans all of them so it's from Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z by the way not up here it's like on the side over there I believe is gonna be the shrine I believe that if you knock down these um, boulders there's a camp wait let me actually show them off before I, I explain hold on let me walk around here yeah, so there's this little camp of bokoblins, of these little of uh, pig monsters. And I believe that treasure chest has some bows and arrows, but I don't remember. So you could do that, but just, just remember, like, you have to go back down there and get all the stuff afterwards. And once again, remember that I am trying to show you how to avoid all the monsters. Um, yeah, so that app was basically just a card collecting game, and yes, before anyone asks, it is pay it is pay to win. Because honestly, all the best cards, 
all the best cards were uh, too. It was too hard to get off of pure luck. Now this is the thing. I liked the game because I have never spent a single cent in that thing. And trust me, there were times where I was literally, for example, like when was it? Um, I believe it was around Christmas time. Um, my uncle. Yeah, yeah, it was my uncle. Uh, he gave us, he gave me and like, uh, you know, our the rest of the family. Like, he gave some of us, uh, the younger kids, uh, the the younger members of the family. He gave them cash, um, and not really cash. He gave us uh, the prepaid cards, just so like we can you know use it. Uh, and it was actually nice because he gave us a present, but he also gave us that, and that that honestly is a nice touch for if you want to give someone a gift. Um. And I had that card, and I remember I only used, like, a portion of it. So, for example, like, I think I used $25, so I had, like, $25 left. At least, at least I, I think it was a $50 card. Um, this was a long time ago, but let me use the rusty sword. Just so, oh, God. Oh, God. This should not be that <laughs> bad. Okay. By the way, you, you saw that, right? That he grabbed the other guy's head. Yeah, that's how it works. They just go to the nearest body. Yeah. Once again, bombs, OP weapon. <laughs> oh, man. I grabbed the Bokoblin arm. Well, since I have it, I might as well... I might as well actually use it. Well, yeah. I might as well use it because it's weaker and it'll, it's, it's better to get rid of that one. Okay. <laughs> These are keys. They're little bats. Good thing we got rid of them. They're just annoying. You don't actually have to worry about them. Uh, I believe there might be something of the DLC up here. I think there's like the final treasure chest is up here. Is it? I felt like it was somewhere around here. Huh. Might be on that ridge over there. Technically speaking, you can shield surf down here. It is much faster. Oh. Uh, I need to find a rock. You see this little puzzle? It's honestly just put a rock in the missing uh, spot. And you will get a seed. Let's see. Oh, there's the rock. It's always right next to it, so you don't have to worry about it. And right here is the shrine. So we're, we're about to do it. Okay, so get this rock and put it in this little gap like so <laughs> yeah dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like I, I played this game way too long <laughs> if you die in the breath you you die in the real wild <laughs> Sword art, <laughs> sword breath online. <laughs> Kirito, you die in the. If you die in the wild, you die with your breath. <laughs> okay, so. Dokkan Com Battle. It, I liked it because I did not spend any money on it. I had $25, and it was actually one of those. It was one of those, uh. Like, let's. Yeah, those special events where, like, oh, it's a bargain. You know, like. If it was one of those things of, oh, if you if you uh, purchase one pack right now, well not pack. If you if you purchase a bunch of stones right now, we'll give you <laughs> we'll give you like a uh, thirty extra stones. So, you know, it was one of those things to grab your attention. Wasn't there another one? I can hear it, but I don't know where it is. Oh, I got stuck right here. Okay, so it was one of those things to grab attention. I fought the res I I resisted it and I did not spend any money on it. Here's the thing. Okay. I believe it's fire arrows. Oh, bomb arrows, I'm sorry. So these things cause explosions when you launch them. Ooh, I really hope I can make this. Okay, so if I don't jump. This is the thing. People think jumping is better, but no, it's better to just climb because jumping, jumping is faster, but it exhausts your meter more 
than if you were just to climb there normally. So just just as a tip, because this is the thing I, you could look it up and I'm and you could ask a professional player, and they might say something different than me because I have never looked it up, but I refuse to believe that it's more efficient. <laughs> All right, so let's walk in here. This is the Cryonis. This is a, so we can basically make ice pillars in water. Um, and so that game, that app sucks because it, every, like every two weeks it launches another campaign where it's like, oh, uh, this, you can now get this legendary card. And it's always something like, for example, when the, when super Dragon Ball super was still airing it, like every new episode brought another character the next week. So basically you could get, um, a new Champa card. You can get the new Hit card. You can get uh, Jiren. All this dumb stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 what's it called? The Ultra Instinct Goku. And dude, you need to waste so much time playing all those events. I didn't because uh, at some point they just started saying like, hey, if you play story mode, you get like four times the EXP than normal. I think they kept that for a really long time. There's a monster. Oh, it's around this corner then. So just put the wall right here. There's a monster. There we go. Oh god. In case you're wondering why I didn't run, it's because my little my joystick is getting stuck again. So, that sucks. By the way, you can actually put this underneath you too. So you can raise yourself directly up. It does not work if you're swimming. It only works if you're walking on water. A traveler's spear. Nice. Okay, so... What was I saying? Yeah, so... It... it it essentially created too many new uh, actually useful cards than uh, than you could collect. So basically, you, you can only collect a certain amount of of uh, cards uh, fairly without using extra money. Because trust me, um, like there are YouTubers who played who played Dokkan Battle, like recording it, just like oh, let's do a race. Um, we're going to get five packs each and uh, like against each other me and another youtuber and we'll see who gets more or who gets the legendary card and dude I really hate these kind of games because like now now that I grew up I really hate them because I like them because I play I don't play by their system and I'm not trying to sound like cool or a rebel what I mean is that I do not waste my money on it I use it as a time killer because, you know, like in those weird moments where I have, you know, like just 35 minutes to myself, I used it as a time killer, but I never used it as a money waster. Um, but n I really hate that game because it just became way too unfair. They introduced way too many new concepts at once. So he's like, okay, it's finally time for me to tell you everything, but first me to me where the he wants to yeah imagine an x so the four shrines draw an x on the map like you know imagine an x and wherever those the 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 center of that x just appear there yeah i'm gonna save you the whole mystery it's the temple of time <laughs> so for example you see this one draw a straight line and it falls right over the temple of time this one, draw a straight line. It crosses the Temple of Time, too. So just go back to the shrine where you woke up. And walk over to there. I'm probably going to change the time to morning. Just so that I can, you know, get off. Have a good start. Um, so I really hope this, this actually helps out in terms of a, a walkthrough because as you could tell I, I killed a lot of enemies with bombs mostly okay so I'm, I'm here too early I think I had to leave and then come back because there's a Korok seed you could get there 
Um, what was I going to mention? Yes, so Dokkan Battle. Sorry for getting distracted, but... Dude, that game... Okay, so, get this. E every time you get a, a card, um, and you get a duplicate, so let's say... It has that system of, like, there's normal... There's normal, there's rare, there's S rare, so, you know, like, super rare. Then there's SSR, so super, super rare. And then after that, the maxed out was UR, ultimate rare. Um, and it was obviously one of those things, if the base card, so basically if the lowest version of that card is SS, then it can rise up to UR. If the lowest version of that card is N, then, hey, some of them you might be able to raise all the way hey, some of them are probably going to be stuck at R, you know? But the whole point is that if I have a duplicate, I can uh, use it in the training mode. Uh, so let's let's say I get two SSR Gokus. Um, I can make one of them into an, a UR, right? So I have the ultimate version of it. I have one ultimate Goku and one SS, uh, SS Goku. So... I can use the training mode so that it gets rid of SS Goku and it raises my attack, my, you know, my, my secret, my super attack by one level. So it goes to level two. And obviously these are just simple game mechanics. Uh, a lot of games have this type of stuff, like get rid of the old weapon, fuse it into the next level, all that stuff. But this is the thing. I played went in the original version of the of the game so in the sense in the normal what, what, what used to be normal <sighs> at some point they introduced this whole thing of hey if you have a duplicate of it you can actually they added a whole skill tree so basically now there's a what they call hidden potential so now you can actually add like oh you can boost the health you can boost the your super attack level like in an artificial way, but like, oh, you can do all this cool stuff. Real quick before, I know I'm supposed to go up on the roof. I'll show you how right now. But real quick, before you do that, just make sure you, you know, just so you don't have to run back later. Talk to the statue. You could talk at it, talk to it at any point. But before before you talk to it right now, it will just tell you like, oh, uh, uh. I don't think it actually talks to you. If it does, it'll just say go in peace. You do not have anything yet. Or if it doesn't, it just says that it's, it smiles down on you. Yeah, so you have conquered shrines and claim. Yeah, every four orbs you have, you can get an extra heart, an entire heart, or a stamina wheel. I like to get stamina first. Like I said, uh, stamina, honestly is what limits you from exploring and not not even exploring just simply getting to the next place if you if you run out of steam you will not be able to uh to climb that mountain you will not be able to run away from those high level enemies to cross over to the good place okay oh so i think he did i did have to talk to her first he's up there you see the little smoke and the fire from him yeah the blessing of the god of the goddess has made you much more resilient. I see. Here I am. Get up here quickly. Yeah. So just go outside right here. And yeah, this entire wall got broken down. <laughs> and once you go up here, there's an entire ladder straight to the top. So Dokkan battle. <laughs> I keep jumping back to it, but sorry. Um. Yeah, so the whole point now is that there's a whole potential thing. And guess what? You can only get 55%. I believe that's right. You can only get 55% of the potential uh, if you do not have duplicates. You need four duplicates, four, in order to unlock your full potential. So remember how I mentioned that before they implemented this system, people who got duplicates simply wasted it raising their super attack level yeah they immediately after they introduced a special card that is simply used to raise special attack it's like elder kai you know the purple old man from uh 
the Majin Buu saga. Yeah, that card does it cannot be used in battle. It cannot. Uh, it, it, you you can, you can sell it, but you can sell everything. But its only purpose really is to raise any character's uh, super attack. Before that, the only cards that had a guaranteed uh, super attack raise were duplicates. Now they literally made a bunch of cards that d do the same thing. But dude, I I felt so awful because I saw some of my cards, and they were, they weren't the best. They were not the best, but they were really high level. I had one of them with a level six super attack. That means I found five duplicates. How do you think I felt at that point where it's like, oh my god, so technically if I kept those cards, I could have had the full potential unlocked. And I felt, I just felt like this sucks. And then afterwards they made these events where basically the only thing that limits you is your stamina. Uh, but like I said, I, I reached like level, <laughs> level 200 easily because I, I grinded for like one hour. Uh, super like going super fast through a bunch of levels um, and dude like it just sucked because <laughs> after that they even introduced special events that were made to give everyone um, what's it called to give everyone a legendary card oh yeah speaking of which you are is now no longer a limit now it's legendary <sighs> I guess I know it's not the proper message from that game from a uh, game from that movie from the from syndrome from the Incredibles but remember when he said when um nobody's super when when everyone's super nobody is well I know he says it from a from a place of uh of like anger and uh hate but he kind of has a point when when everyone is winning with no effort it's not really fun because like those cards were not fun to collect because technically speaking like everyone could get them you know what I mean like it kind of made me realize how they're literally wasting our time don't come battle all right so I'll just get up here and talk to this guy <laughs> well done there young one now then the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. Yes, he's the king from a hundred years ago. And like, he's obviously a spirit. In this game, spirits are represented with that blue light and fire. Yeah, King Rome. Final king of the Hyrule. The great calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago, it was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Yeah, so now he's going to explain what went on. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. Yeah, so this the is demon the past. King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the guardians, 
an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That night was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. All right, so that's a lot of backstory. Here's the paraglider, like I promised. And now we can fly. Well, glide, but still. All right. 
With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs. And I think that's it. I told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Don't leave me. Yeah, new, new main quest. Destroy Ganon. Oh, I have too many bows. I might as well get rid of the... What's it called? The Boko one that I have. I'm going to put on the one I was using at the beginning. And this is now the best one. I like to save the best that I have for like the tougher enemies I have to face. And now we can fly, but I'm not going to fly in that direction. I'm actually going to fly. Yeah, check it out. Now we can glide and it does use stamina. So that's why I, you know, I, I wanted to get some more. So now I can fly a longer distance. All right, so I'm not going to be fighting those guys. I, I'm, I'm going to ignore everything that's like unnecessary, but I do, however, want to grab all of these peppers. There we go. <laughs> it's just because it's a nice bundle of them all together. All right. Oh, I took a picture by accident. So just to let you know, oh, I actually took Hey, wow. Remember that mountain peak? I I caught it's literally the mountain peak that's right well not the mountain but just like the thing that surrounds the hill that surrounds Kakariko village hey that's actually pretty cool I'm gonna actually take a picture of that <laughs> all right so that's our next location uh, seek out Impa she's someone important in the lore of Zelda because remember th this take this takes place at the end of all of the story so we are literally seeing the final game of the story. Not not final in terms of uh, the last one made. That, that will be made. Just in terms of uh, the last one made so far. So just to let you guys know my plan. I Yeah, I might stop here. But I think I'm actually going to go over here-ish. More or less. It's, I'm going to go a little bit further than where they're asking me to go. It's like, you know, let, let's actually put a bet on it. I believe it's right here. <laughs> so more or less right here. I think I'm off by a bit. I, it might be like up here. But you get what I mean. It's around this area. Because there's a village there that I want to visit. And speaking of which, I believe another thing that I want to visit is probably right here. All right, because in terms of getting money, you know, so I think I'll make my way for Kakariko Village just just so you can see like up to where you should go to. I, I'd recommend it because if you explore in the other directions, um, there are things that you have to gather that uh, first you need to go to Kakariko Village so that they're available to be viewed uh, to be seen. I mean. All right, so I ranted about Dokkan Battle enough today, and we can finally leave the Great Plateau. All right, I, I think this is probably the last episode I'm going to record for the day. Uh, in case you're wondering, we are heading in that exact direction. So, so like, there's even a path right here. There are a bunch of monsters. I'm basically going to climb around there, go around this pillar. Climb these hills. Well, climb this hill and then probably go down here, go around, get that pillar. And there's only going to be like, um, what's it called? There's one shrine here. There's two shrines in here and there's one uh, after the mountain. I'm going to get it just so that w by the time we get to Kakariko, we can get another stamina wheel. Uh, well, stamina piece. So thank you for joining me, and uh, I hope you look forward to this adventure. I'm honestly psyched. I'm honestly really, really happy to play this game again. Um, I'm a little bit rusty in some areas, but uh, I, I don't seem to be that bad. Yeah, so this is a great story. Uh, just a quick heads up. I, I don't think I'm going to explain the lore throughout this game that much i think i am going to point out significance point out like oh th this is a reference or 
you know, try to explain stuff as simply as I can. Uh, if you have any questions about this series, uh, especially the one friend I'm doing this for, just feel free to ask me about it. I mean, like, I know a lot about the series. Um, uh, even if it's something like, hey, is this a reference? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I am also planning, I guess I might as well announce it here on the last episode of, of the, of the, let's call it the, what's it called? The, the escape from the plateau uh, section of this playthrough. I am planning on making uh, a Zelda, what, what, what's it called? Kind of like explaining the lore of Zelda, like exploring it. Um, but I'm going to make it as a progressive series. So basically like episode one will be, hey, here's all the basics. Like the thing about it, like here's the index, uh, the, the glossary terms. Uh, part two will be like, here's the main story, like the main plot of them, the, 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 like just the important stuff. Then episode three will be, here is the more important like stuff. And then like each episode after that will basically be just me going in order of the stories, um, trying to explain like in detail more or less. Because like I said, I make these videos mostly for my friends. Uh, not not gen like I mean, there are better YouTube YouTubers out there, but I make this with love for my friends, <laughs> and also for all you lovely people who will one day watch this. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, either way, uh, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a lovely day. And remember, don't say goodbye, say shmalo. And I'll catch you guys later when we go towards Kakariko. See you then.